Yo, what's going on guys? Arex here. Welcome back to another video for Animal Crossing New Horizons. And today I want to talk about everything coming to the game in the new paid DLC, the Happy Home Paradise. In fact, I also want to speak about the free stuff because on November the 5th, there is an update dropping, update 2.0, which brings with it a ton of free stuff for the game, but it also introduces the first paid DLC for Animal Crossing, which brings even more stuff. You get to go to work, it basically gives you a job, it sounds fantastic, and more importantly, it gives you so many more creative options, which you can then bring back to your home island, and of course, make your island, make your houses, make everything even better. So, if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Let me know in the comments down below. What are you guys thinking? Is this gonna get you back in? I'll be honest, I played so much Animal Crossing New Horizons when it first launched, we did loads of content on it, and then more recently, I haven't really been back to it too much. I know my villagers are probably gonna be pretty angry at me, but this stuff does sound super cool. So let me know if this is enough to pull you guys back in, and of course, if you guys have been enjoying the content lately, don't forget to subscribe. So, first things first, let's talk about this paid DLC, Happy Home Paradise. This will cost you $24.99 or of course your equivalent currency. You can pre-order it on October the 29th if you want to. I don't think there's actually any value in pre-ordering it, you can just get it whenever. But regardless, if you're super excited and you want to queue it up, then you can do that. So what exactly do you get to do in this thing? Well first things first, you of course go to Dodo Airlines and you can say, I want to go to work. This will take you to a new location, this kind of cool archipelago, and basically you will meet the Paradise Planning Company they are a resort developer. The idea is that in this expansion, you're gonna help build a resort and make dream lifestyles for different characters. As you explore the island, you'll speak to people and you'll find out what they need. And the idea is that you are then gonna build resorts, build houses, build islands, build locations, to suit their needs. So upon speaking to them, you'll get the feel for the items they want in their house, the kind of furnishings, that sort of feel, and you will then head to the site of your choosing. You will pick the most suitable location, you'll place down the furniture, and then beyond that point, beyond of course fulfilling their basic needs, which is a few select pieces of furniture, the rest is up to you. You can design the outside of the house, the gardens, everything like that to completely finish the look. However, we then get a little bit deeper and start talking about some of the customization stuff because this is exciting. When you go back into the houses, there are new tools, new items for you to use. You can introduce partition walls, so you can basically break up a room with these walls. You can introduce pillars, which of course support the ceilings. They are just aesthetic. If you don't have a pillar, the ceiling's not going to fall down. But regardless, you could have pillars. You can even have multi-height counters if you want to have one of those kitchens with sort of raised sink and kitchen area and there's sort of a lower area for serving stuff. This basically brings you much more depth to home creation. In addition to this, you can polish furniture if you so wish. This of course uh, adds some visual sparkles, some visual effects to them. There's even the ability to add some ambient sound to sort of fit the theme of your room. And then when you've done all of this, you can also get paid for your work. And using this money, you can then purchase rare furniture from the shop on the Paradise Island, which you can then take back to your island and it's rare furniture that you normally wouldn't be able to get. However, outside of just building resorts and building houses for select villages, you can also design additional structures. You can design schools, restaurants, other facilities to make the Paradise Island more robust. The designs you create will then be shared in a sort of lookbook and you can share this with people around the world. They can come and visit your designs, you can visit theirs to get some different inspiration. Additionally, you can use your amiibo cards or your figures to invite villagers to this island to again create sort of dream destinations for them. And more importantly, the design techniques that you learn on this paradise island through your job, so to speak, you can then bring back to your island and you can then introduce that to your home, meaning you can add partition walls, pillars, counters, lighting, etc. You can even gift your residents items from the Paradise Island, which might then make them go and visit the island. And of course, you'll then get a whole new set of objectives because you can then go and build the dream destination for them. Furthermore, once you've designed enough homes, you can eventually remodel your residence houses on your island. So if you've got a resident that say you really like, but you just don't like the house, it doesn't quite fit your island's theme or your island's aesthetic, then eventually, with enough work, you can redesign it. So that in a nutshell is what is coming to the paid DLC. That is the stuff that will cost you money, it will not be free, but that launches on November the 5th. However, if that is not something you want, if you just want to jump in and enjoy the free stuff, then let me quickly rattle through what you get. This is version 2.0 and this also drops on November the 5th. So regardless, November the 5th is a big date for Animal Crossing. If you don't want to pay anything, you can still jump in and enjoy a load of stuff. That stuff includes new spots and encounters. There will be a cafe owned by Brewster in the museum. You can go here to get coffee, meet island residents. You can use your amiibo figures and cards here to invite buddies over for coffee. You can even invite your friends over too. 
You can then go and speak to Kappen, who will then ferry you on his boat. He will give you a little boat tour. He will sing horrible songs to you. And you'll then find a mysterious island where you can, of course, get mysterious flora. Or you'll encounter places that are different seasons to your current island. And you can basically bring back special items. You can also go to Harv's Island because Harv wants to create his own plaza with his own shops. You can contribute bells to the project and then familiar islanders will then set up shops. You can customise ready-made furniture that you normally can't customise. You can get your fortune read by Katrina and you can even get some new hairstyles. Outside of that, since us as gamers tend to sort of sit at our desk quite a lot, Nook Inc is introducing group stretching at the plaza, which of course you can just do in game, but you can also use motion controls from your Switch to take part in in real life. You can do this with friends too when visiting the islands, but you can stretch as a community. Additionally, you can now enact island ordinances, so basically you can do things like make all your villagers wake up early, which I would definitely do since my village is full of jocks, they're all gym goers, they gotta get up on that early morning grind. You also get new exterior options for your houses to sort of change those to again enhance the theme and the look of your island. You even get more storage, going from the 2400 limit currently all the way up to 5000. On the Nook Miles front, there'll be new redeemable items. Cooking is coming, so you'll have new DIY recipes that allow you to cook and create food. You can of course combine ingredients to do that. You get a pro decorating license, allowing you to add ceiling lighting, and of course other things hanging from the ceiling. You get accent walls, where you can colour single walls in your house. The maximum number of bridges and inclines is increased up to 10 on your island, respectively. And you also have 9 new fence types. There's been an improvement to the handheld camera, giving you the ability to basically walk around using it at eye level, plus there's a tripod mode so you can then be in the shot too. The custom designs that were previously applied to furniture and things like that can also be worn and applied elsewhere now. There'll be 11 new hairstyles, 11 new reactions, there'll be the Island Life 101 app which gives you tips for enjoying your island, and there's even a storage shed which links to your home storage which you can place anywhere on your island, so if you want easy access to items then without having to return home, you can get these easily. There's even an ABD which is basically like your ATM machine where you can withdraw bells, again, from outside. There's also more songs from KK Slider, and gyroids are now being introduced to your island, they can be dug up, you can then plant them and water them, they'll turn into gyroids overnight, and they then make interesting sounds. You can experiment with combinations for funky beats, and they can even be customised. And then finally, Nook's Cranny also will be introducing new items, there's also the uh, Death Stranding mode where you can basically get a recipe for permanent ladders which you can leave around your island, so if you've run out of ramps, run out of locations and staircases, then you do have other means, you can go and place these around for uh, easy access to cliffs and other locations. And that my friends is pretty much it, that's a little rundown on everything that is coming to Animal Crossing on November the 5th, again that is the free stuff and the paid DLC. Let me know again what you guys think in the comments down below and keep it locked for plenty more. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to catch more from us, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our latest uploads. And if you want somewhere to hang out, play games, or chat all things from games to anime, food to fitness, consider joining the Arax Gaming Discord.